Yat Ehdine Masan Nishle. This is Navajo Grandma. And today I'm keeping half of my promises. We have a layout here. It has snowed quite a bit where I usually go. So I had to prepare everything ahead of time and home and did not include you, but you'll see the end result. Right now I'm going to be making the blue corn mush. Okay, Grandma's notes. This is the tushchin, and it's made with nadat dotish, the blue corn. Remember, the blue corn is, remember when grandma grinded the corn, that's what it's called, nadat dotish. And when it's ground, you have now the blue corn. Now, here is the recipe for the blue corn mush it's three and a half cups of water, one cup roasted blue corn blue corn meal and a teaspoon of juniper ash. We are going to be using, do you remember, our stirring sticks. Now we're going to use the stirring sticks to mix this and it's really important. So grandma's going to go ahead and show you exactly what needs to be done. We'll put our notes here. Now first thing we're going to do, I have two cups of water boiling. We're going to make our roasted blue corn and put in Let's see, here we go. Okay, let's take you back to the recipe, okay? Uh, one cup of roasted blue cornmeal, all right? With the one cup, we put one and a half of cups of cold water, okay? Here's one, one cup, and then we do one and a half. Now out here, we're not, we don't have running water, so uh, it's okay. Now, guess what we get to use? We're using our, what did we call this? Our stirring sticks. Try to remember. Do you remember? Adesen, okay? We're gonna stir and make sure our, oopsies, grandma just splashed around the uh, water and and make sure all the lumps are out but that's really well mixed okay now we need one teaspoon of juniper ash we're going to put in here in the boiling water we're going to mix that and it's already mixed now we are going to add the blue corn to this can you see the stirring sticks and the blue corn? Okay, not that deutlich. Now we're going to mix it in here. We mix it, mix it, mix it. Okay, we want to get all the blue corn we can. They usually say to turn down the heat at this point, but because grandma loves to work outside, we really can't turn the heat down and it is nice and warm. It's cold out here, but it's beautiful. This is wonderful food to have on a cold winter day. So if you remember, the first step we did was we put one cup of blue corn in a bowl with one and a half a cup cold water. And once you mix the blue corn with the one and a half cups of water and the one cup blue corn. Then, remember it has to be roasted, okay? Because of the snow, Grandma didn't get to show you all this, but it's okay. We have it all here. And then, while you have the water, two cups of water boiling, you mix the one teaspoon of juniper ash, which is the gutbit ash, you mix it into the water, then the blue corn mush mixture with the water you pour in here and you're mixing. Now some people will just go ahead and uh, let it boil for a bit. And I've seen that too, but uh, we'll see how it comes. We'll let it boil just a bit. And this I told you has a wonderful source of calcium. We'll just let it uh, boil for just a bit. It takes about maybe five to 10 minutes of boiling. 
Oh, look, it's starting to boil. Let me show you. These little, looks like the little volcano pots. The little mud pots. It's starting to boil. Oh, it's starting to get thick already. This, we were saying, has excellent nutrition in here. And you have calcium. Wonderful. And it's just like better than a cup of milk. And isn't it amazing how our ancestors knew about these things? They didn't know the scientific portions of it, but it helped strengthen their bones. And, you know, what can you think? And this blue corn mush is starting to thicken. Let me just kind of tip the camera over without melting the camera. Okay, so... Look how it's thickening. I don't know if you can see. Grandma's trying to do one thing and another, but see, it's already started to thicken. Oh, it smells wonderful too. So it's really gotten thick. So what we're going to do pretty soon is to go ahead and finish this off and let it finish cooking and then I will set that up for you and you can see what grandma does, okay? We have right here, now you can't see grandma too well, okay? But it's okay because what I want you to see is our corn mush is right here ready to be served. Look, and it is thick, it's wonderful. Now, you can also, uh, it depends with you what you like, okay? Um, I have cranberry granola here, and there's blueberries as well as strawberries. And what I like to do is put blueberries with mine, and then I'll just sprinkle some granola over it, and it's wonderful. Oh my goodness. You can go ahead and enjoy this. I just want you to remember that the Diné people have traditional dishes and some of these uh, it's always based on corn and you, we have the different ones like uh, kneel down bread grandma's not going to attempt to make that because it's quite a process the blue corn mush which we have right here and there's dried steam corn as well as the uh, roasted corn remember the blue corn is called what? It's not not Deutlich, but it's called Twischin. Twischin. That's a blue corn mush. And what did we use to stir? Adastin. Okay. So this is just some notes for you. Hopefully you can go ahead and rewind and relearn this. If you can do it, the Diné girls, for all of us, we enjoy this. It is just absolutely lovely. And until you taste it, you won't understand what, what grandma's referring to. And it's not hard to make. I mean, you know, you you can also go and buy some roasted blue corn. And uh, you can also purchase gutbit ish. People prepare it and some sell it. Try to get some of these products and it's well worth it to learn a different culture and how they eat. So with that said, Grandma loves you and I hope you enjoyed my little uh, blue corn mush. And there it is. There it is, roasted blue corn. The end result, yum. Oh, it's lovely. So, love you all. I hope you enjoyed this. And Grandma loves you. Uh, we will learn so much more. Okay? Hug on it.